Good afternoon guys and girls, it's PJ here, back again with another Where is Zor video? Well, as you've probably gathered, yeah, he's at the tower So uh, we're going to run down to the hangar area over here Now I'm in an alternate location for feed for this one guys, I'm on a, I'm actually streaming from a PlayStation So, uh, no, no camera, nothing like that So I'm hearing some news that some of the, or all of the weapons now are sort of sunsetting, a bit like a bit like some of the planets. So in other words, not getting rid of weapons, but it doesn't sound like they're going to be making any sort of new ones. They're reusing old weapons and changing the perks on them. So that combined with some of the stuff sunsetting, I'm not sure if this is a good move or not. I guess we'll find out how that works out. So yeah, let's see what he's got. Anyway, we digress. We have... Let's have a look. Come on, Zor. Wow. Okay, Oblast, Oblast. Yep, you should buy this one, guys. This is an absolutely brilliant uh, rifle. If I click on details. There we go. Pretty cool looking. I'm sure you'd agree there. Impact um, in reality seems higher than that, to be honest with you. But yeah, this is a really good rifle. I use this one myself quite a lot. Fire slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields of enemy combatants. In other words, it's like a one shot shield killer. It's uh, well worth buying. So yeah. Definitely, definitely pick this one up if you've not already got it. No ornaments or anything to show you there, guys. But yeah, that's a purchase. There you go. Probably the best thing he's had in well, weeks, to be honest with you. Okay, moving on. We have Oathkeeper. He's had this really recently. And let's have a quick look at Oathkeeper. Mobility, resilience there. Not a bad mix for me on that one. Bows charges can be held indefinitely. So it only benefits bows. Yeah, a bit, bit limited and, you know, it's uh, not the best sort of thing. Looks okay. Looks pretty good. Not bad looking. Uh, I've also realised my colours look slightly off at the moment, so if you're viewing this um, as on a non-HDR sort of TV or whatever, you're going to see everything looking a bit bit funky. So no, that's a leave it, guys, because otherwise you're going to have to use a bow to get anything from it. If you use any other kind of weapon, you're wasting your time. Moving on, we have um, AC. Video feedback fence. I always call these like ACDCs for some reason, but still. These ones, melee hits build energy. Being struck by a melee attack reduces incoming damage and unleashes the energy in a devastating explosion. Mm, if your build is more re melee based, then yes, this is good. It looks fantastic, but there is way better out there for the Titan. So personally I wouldn't waste a slot on this with it being just melee but there you go that's my thoughts on it so that one's leave um, it does look good anyway without shaders on it so you know that's a nice one look with the carbon try a couple of others for you yeah not bad looking but there is better so last one this is ancient the stag you must have seen this in game now if you're a regular player so great looking doesn't lend well to shaders because of the bone colour. There you go. And is definitely a leave. Grants rift energy when critically wounded. Creates healing rift on death. You've got to be critically wounded for this to do anything. So a bit of a waste of time really. Because generally speaking you're going to die anyway. And then don't forget your exotic up here. There you go. If you've not got ticks across the board and you're doing your collection. This is the one to buy. Pretty expensive though. And guys, that's it. Is that the tower? That's what he's selling. Definitely go and pick up that gun. You'll have a good time with that. And I'll see you guys same time next week. Bye for now.